Hello, in this video you're going to need a kitchen roll tube and some toilet roll tubes and some scissors and a pencil and some tape. Let's go. First, take your kitchen roll tube and flatten it like this. Then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw the shape of your seahorse. This is going to be his belly and he needs a curly tail. So draw a spiral like this. Now that's drawn, it's time to cut it out with some scissors. This might be a little bit tricky, so if you're having difficulty, just ask somebody for some help. There's the body all cut out, you can see the tail. Now we take our toilet roll and this is going to be the head. So squish one side and tape it together. We're going to attach the head to the body with some slats. So measure where you want the head to go two markings like this. Then cut I need to cut this a few times just to get the space big enough. But do it until you can slip it onto your body like this. Now it's time to paint our seahorse. I'm going to paint him blue to start with. You can paint him any colour that you like. Let's start with the head.
once he's all painted, he'll need to go and dry somewhere. So whilst it's drying, I'm going to make some babies for our seahorse. Take a toilet roll to you. And again, draw the shape of your seahorse. So you'll have a tiny tail like this, curving round. Because it's a baby, he's going to be much smaller. So cut out the tail. This angle so cut out the edge like this and then tape the top across and there's the shape of our baby I'm going to paint the baby green I'm going to add some more colours to my daddy's seahorse. So I've got some red and I'm just going to dab it all over. Then I'm going to add some pink all over the head and on the body I'm going to give it a pink belly like this. Then go down his tail a little bit as well. Now we need some eyes, so I've cut some circles out of some paper and I'm just going to draw, using this black pen, some eyes. Then I take some glue and work out where I'm going to stick it. I think here is a good spot. Using a glue stick, I'm going to stick it down. First one. And then the other. The two babies need some eyes as well. Here are some paper circles. So I'm just going to draw some eyes again onto them and then stick them in place.
seahorses have a fin on their backs. To make this, I'm going to take some tape, cut it so it's square, and then fold it over like this, so there's a little bit sticking up. Then paint it blue. The daddy seahorse needs a fin as well, so I'm going to take some tape and then fold it over, leaving a slight space at the bottom that's still sticky. And then I'm going to stick it down like this onto his back. Then I paint it blue as well, and wait for it to dry. The baby fin has dried, so I'm going to slice it with some scissors, like this. And then the daddy one is also dry, so I'm going to cut it with scissors to make it frilly. Now he's painted and dry, it's time to put his head back on. Let's get it back on to the slits like this. There you go! Daddy Seahorse is finished! Oh, swims in the sea, so happy. He's ready to look after some babies. Where have his babies gone? There's one, one baby, swimming towards his daddy. And a second baby. There she swims. She's safe with daddy. He'll look after them both. Daddy seahorses use their tail to look after their babies. So the baby sits on his tail and he swims off. Oh, what a lovely family. I know they'll have all kinds of adventures. Your daddy seahorse and two babies finished.